Hello friends, my fellas, my name is Raz and welcome to Sand Design Saturday. Today's episode 17 and what we will be tackling today is we will be recreating the kind of frog sounding croak scent from the track Butterfly Effect by Kirby and Bougainvillea. It was released on Spinning a while back. And um, by the way, this is how it sounds like. We'll be just working on this one at the top. Oh my gosh, computer is really struggling to play that. Um, I apologize if I'm uploading this at a later time. It's already Sunday in my place, but um, it's still Saturday in some other parts of the world, so I, I guess I'm still safe. And just because I was feeling bad, um, I just got a headache and I still have a bit of cold even now. But um, I'm really interested in this still thought that, hey, I could, I could still record, so why not? <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, let's get straight to business. I'm going to load up a new empty MIDI track or channel. Massive. We'll be using Massive from Native Instruments, by the way. So, once Massive is open... Oh my gosh, look at that lag. Yeah. That's what I like about my rig. Okay, so uh, select the Deep Throat as the waveform for OVC1. Pitch that an octave down. Brought that to Filter 1. And in filter one, select the comb. We'll work with that later. It's the volume up, the volume up for filter two as well. And make sure your mix fader is at the center. Um, FX one, select the browner two, or browner, or browner, who cares? Um, drive it up, drive to the X in the FX two. And for the FX two, select dimension expander, set the size just before the S, drive it. Uh, just when it's touching the D, it's touching the ass of the D. Trust me, Kirby likes his sound kind of wide, I noticed that. EQ, yes, let's shape the sound a little bit, let's give it a very gentle boost at the bottom end, give it more ass, and some sheen as well. That's how it should sound like. And then next is, let's go to the voicing tab, down here, select mono rotate and legato Triller. Go to the OVC tab and set this to 12, set this to minus 12, enable trigger, re-trigger or restart via gate. For the glide time, point that to the F, it says from to range, there's an F, point it there. So it should do that. And then go to envelope number 4, which is what's controlling our master amp. Double click on the attack and the release to set them to, its, to their default values. Level all the way down and point the decay to the corner right here. See this uh, kind of box? Just point to the upper left corner. Oh wait, that should... <laughs> no, sorry, that should be for uh, envelope one. This goes to the A, I'm sorry. Right there, all right, sweet. Now for the wave to position, point that to the T, the intensity, point that to the A in the amp. Now let's use the first envelope, attack all the way down, level all the way down, now decay to the corner, all right. And then we will modulate the wave to position, drag that to the, and point that to the I, <coughs> excuse me, uh, in the intensity. We will also modulate the intensity and point that down to the E. So this is what it does. Let me exaggerate that. That one, like somebody's throwing up. And then let's um, enable, disable, sorry, disable oscillator 3, the modulation, because you won't be using any of these. Just better be sure. Um, pitch oscillator to two octaves down, or that's minus 24 semitones. Amp all the way down, filter two. And then select the sine square and make sure your wave position is all the way to the left because we will just be using this as a sub layer. So turn this off for now. 
and go to your routing tab right here. Click the bypass um, switch for OS2, which is our sub, and make that go directly out to the EQ and bypass any effects and crank this up. So that's our sub. Let's also the macro to sub and macro one harmonic. So this should be the sub. Uh, macro two modulates this. This kind of SC, I don't know what that stands for, secondary maybe. That's what controls the sub. And I already have a sub layer here, so I'll turn it off for now. <clears throat> and let's enable OSC one again. <laughs> So this is where it gets tricky. Um, uh, let's use macro one, which is harmonic, to modulate the feedback. Point that to the B. Damping to the P. And uh, the pitch, this is where it gets tricky. There is a sweet spot here. Uh, just point it at the parallel for the PIR. Turn this up as well. Um, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to look at the first thing that I made. Okay, let's go back. Mine is just a, a bit loud. So that's what it should sound like. Just keep hitting the... Um, let me guess. Um, F... Yeah, I bet it's an F key. And um, just listen to the harmonic and match it to yours. It should sound like that. And now yeah, what else? Yeah, so let's uh, let's try it out. So I'm going to deactivate this. And I'm also going to drag and drop the MIDI. Give it a different color, maybe. Blue. There, got it. Sweet. Head shot or bullseye. Let me skip here. I really like this part. So it has a kind of um, upper harmonic. All right, so. Um, that's it. It's the end of the tutorial. That's all I have to cover for today. I hope that you find this video helpful and informative. And most importantly, I hope that you enjoy watching, despite me, you know, sounding horrible right now. And I really still feel sick. Um, but yeah, I could still record, so I'll take the shot. Who cares? And so once again, this has been Raz Loyola. I'm, I hope I, I could have helped uh, in your projects. Good luck in your music projects, people. God bless you, and I hope to see you again in the next video. So peace out, and keep safe.